Hey, what's up guys, Tiger Flash here and today I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Flash Player even though it just lost support as of December 31st, 2020. So yeah, actually I'm going to show you how to use it on Windows. So it works for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. So yeah, actually I'm going to be showing you how to install it on Google Chrome, uh, Edge, Firefox and Opera. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so let's start with Google Chrome since it's the web browser most people use. So actually you want to go to Ruffle. So actually I'm going to leave the link down below, but you want to type Ruffle in the search bar and you want to go to here, Ruffle Flash Player Emulator. There you go. So there you go i'm running the latest version of windows 10 as of now and then you want to actually scroll down onto the ruffle website which is going to be in the description and you want actually to download the latest release so me this is the latest release for you i don't know what it will be but just download the latest release and windows you have nothing to click and for example here we are on chrome so download it for chrome edge and safari which is the same version so now you want to download it. I will choose desktop and just download it. There you go. Once it's in your desktop, you want to actually unpack it. So right click, this is important because yeah, I could open it just like this. It will open, but it's not actually unpacked. So you want to right click and you want to, you know, choose a place to unpack it. So actually here I'm going to choose here in French it's extra in English it's going to be unpack it and you choose a destination. So actually desktop yeah this is good and actually I want to unpack it. So it's unpacking it and there you go. So we just saw a new file popping in right here. So once this is done you want to go back into Google Chrome and you want to go down on the website. So once, no, you want to go up actually from where we were and you want to actually here navigate to this. So you will actually highlight it. You can copy it and paste it or just take it like this and drag it into a new tab, just like this. So here you want to activate developer mode. So it was already on, but make sure it's on. And then you want to go to, uh, actually it's a, uh, load unpack its textures so here in french it's here and you want to go to where you save your extension so i see for me it is desktop and the extension this is the one it's unpacked and i want to choose it and then boom as you can see i have the extension in my google chrome extensions so this will act just like Flash Player since it's a Flash Player emulator. So if I go in my extensions, I can actually saw, see it, I mean, Ruffle extension. So let's test it out. Okay, so actually I have a website that is using Flash. Now we're on Edge just to show you that the website is actually using Flash Player. So we are now on Edge and as you can see on Edge, it's not working since Flash is not taken. But if we go back into Chrome, we're back into Chrome. We just installed the extension. And if we go to my website, it's just a website, a normal website that's using Flash. Actually, if I go here, if I wait a little bit, this is an old computer. I mean, it's rocking a Core 2 Duo, but hey, it's doing the job done. As you can see, the website is working just as it should with Flash Player. You see, just as it should. I mean, of course it's lagging a bit, but that's my computer. It's really slow. I have three gigabyte of RAM. All of my faster computer are somewhere, somewhere else or in use right now. So yeah, I'm filming on this one. It's actually pretty good for a 2008 device. So as you can see, it's working. So once this is done, I'm going to show you how to do it for Microsoft Edge, since right now it's not working on Edge. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And actually a little disclaimer before we do, it's possible that, you know, let's open Chrome again, that the extension is going to disappear, not from Chrome, but I you know in Firefox, it's pretty often. In Chrome, I've never seen it so far, but when it's going to disappear, it's not going to in Chrome, but if, if I mean, if you try to load a Flash website and it's not working and you see the extension is not here, it's not, if it's 
not activated just activated but if it has disappeared i mean there you, there you will have to go back into the extension settings just like i showed you before with you know chrome uh, extensions and then you want to put it back so my advice would be to actually you can trash the zip file but you want to keep this file you're not obligated to i mean i won't force you to keep it but i would like i would keep it like i would put it like in a folder that you know it is there so you won't have to download it again if you need it just if you need real quick to put it back to open a website so yeah without further ado let's try with uh, edge so i'm gonna actually trash it since it's the same file so and i'm going to show you really for edge but yeah you could have used the same file since edge and chrome are basically same base web browser so let's open microsoft edge so yeah, this computer has an SSD. I mean, it's not this slow, but three gigabyte of RAM, SSD, uh, yeah, 2008 core to duo, dual core, it's pretty slow. So you wanna make, write Ruffle with no S. And actually this is the one, Flash Player Emulator. And uh, yeah, we don't care about that. I know I'm French. So you wanna hear the same thing as we did in Chrome. And you choose again Chrome Edge and Safari. I'm gonna show you into Oprah after because I love Oprah honestly. It's really fast. So there you go, it has downloaded. And as you can see now, it's not on the desktop because uh, goddamn Edge downloaded into the download folder. So yeah, let's go into download and there you go, there it is. So actually, I'm gonna put it right there on the desktop just for simplicity. Again, right click and unpack it. Choose the destination, here it is desktop again, so it's good. Then you wanna do it, and boom, there you go. So once this is done, it's basically the same process as Google Chrome, I just wanted to show you. So actually I won't show you on Oprah, since it's the same process on Oprah. I swear to God, I've tried it. So I won't show you on Oprah, it's a lot of repetition, but yeah. So you wanna navigate, actually this is why I wanted to do it. You wanna navigate to Chrome, the same thing, you want to actually navigate, you will do the same thing as we did before. Just take it and drag it like we did with Chrome. Even though it's written Chrome, it's going to work in Edge. It is the same thing in Opera. I did it. So actually, you want to activate developer mode again. In Opera, it's going to be the same thing. Activate developer mode. And you want actually to charge unpack element. So right here and we remember we put it on the desktop and if we can find the file again here it is selection this file select this file and boom there you get there it is it's activated so now actually if we go back to my website oh this is not my website i do not have my website copied so actually let's go back to my website i'm gonna find it again and i'm gonna meet you Okay, so I've just opened my web browsing history. And as you can see, this was the website that was using Flash just before. And now since Flash, I mean Flash Emulator is activated on Edge, as you can see, it's actually working flawlessly. I mean, again, my computer is old, but I swear to God, I've used it on an eight core Ryzen 4700U CPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and it's rocking. I mean, even, even there, I mean, it's working really well for what my computer is. So there you go, I fixed it. So Opera, same process, I won't do it, it's pretty easy. So now I'm gonna trash this and I'm gonna show you on uh, big old Firefox. I don't even know if I have Firefox on this computer. So let me check real quick. No, so I'm gonna install Firefox and I'm coming back. Okay, so two minutes later, this is still pretty quick for 2008 computer, honestly. <laughs> so, uh, uh, no thanks. I love Chrome and Opera, so not Firefox. Okay, so actually you want to go again to Ruffle with no S. Same website. And this is the same thing, the same website. And then you want to actually scroll down. And here it's a bit different since Firefox is not on the same base. So actually you want to go here, Firefox, not the other one. Really Firefox, the latest version for Firefox. And you want to right click. So actually this is an old trackpad, so really right click. Okay, so like I said, once you're here, you want to actually right click on the Firefox. So not Chrome, really Firefox. I know I said it again. And then you want to go to save the link as. So 
this is what's going to be in English, that's why I cut. <laughs> and uh, then you want to save it to desktop. I mean, you can save it wherever you want, but I want to save it to my desktop. So uh, yeah, you, then you actually want to go up on the website again, and you want to go to about debugging, like this. So you could drag it, I'll try dragging it. It's not working, that's what I thought, that's why I said I will try. So you can actually whoop, just copy it and paste it. That's what I'm going to do. Sorry, I'm struggling with this trackpad. It's actually, it's not that bad. It's a bit small, but pretty good. So there you go about debugging. So we really want to go to this Firefox. There you go. And here in the this Firefox, you want to click on load temporary extensions right here. And then you want to actually find what you just downloaded. So it was on the desktop and it was, did it pass? No, where it was. Oh my God, there's a lot of things. This one, Ruffle. And you want to open it. So there you go. So now I'm going to find my website back and I'm going to try it. Okay, so I just found the link for my website that's using Flash Player. And uh, yeah, just uh, again, uh, some disclaimer. So this is actually a temporary extension. So that means that most of the time when you're going to close your, your computer or close Firefox, it's gonna go uh, away and you will have to do this process again. I mean, you can just leave the file right here and just install it and don't download it. It's gonna be downloaded. But for Chrome, for Chromium by, for Chromium base, uh, web browser, sorry, uh, yeah, it's actually staying there. So for Chrome, Opera, like, I mean, a lot of Chromium, like Edge, Chromium based web browser is gonna stay there. But for Firefox, it's actually temporary. So you can actually try to make it uh, not temporary, but we won't do this in this video. So actually, let's try it out. It's install. Let's try our website. And there you go. Boom, it's working. Any Flash Player app will actually work. This is a Flash Player emulator. Okay, so this is gonna be it for Windows 10. So just to show you, I'm gonna be showing you uh, how to do it on Windows 7, just for Chrome, because it's the same for every app, it's the same as Windows 10. But I'm going to show you on Windows 7 just to prove to, to prove to you that it's actually working on Windows 7 with Chrome and all of the other apps. I know a lot of people are still using Windows 7 today with Google Chrome, even though they sh probably shouldn't because of security flaws. But anyway, I'm going to be getting my computer that's running Windows 7 and I'm going to show you. Okay, so here we are on Windows 7. Sorry for the wire. It's actually the wire from my the other computer I used to use on Windows 10. I don't know where I left the charger for this Acer Aspire uh, like 2010 computer. The screen is really bad. It looks bad on camera. It looks bad in person. The keyboard is destroyed, but hey, that's not the, the point. I'm going to show you how to install um, our uh, Adobe Flash Player emulator for Google Chrome. So actually I will open Google Chrome. Okay, so here we're on Google Chrome. I had to cut right here since this computer is so slow with a 5400 RPM hard drive. <laughs> so you wanna go to Ruffle again, the same website. Eh, it's not that bad here, you know, with no S. Don't make this mistake, with no S. And yeah, it's pretty slow. So Ruffle Flash Player Emulator. So I used to use uh, this computer with a monitor because the screen is so bad. That's why it's all zoom in and really weird. So yeah. So uh, again, you want to go down. So yeah, this is Windows 7. If, if you didn't know, you know, I had, there you go, it's Windows 7. So uh, yeah, you want to scroll down. You want to go again here. It's the same version, latest version, we're using Chrome. So we're gonna click on Chrome. We're gonna be downloading it again. So it's going directly into the downloads here since I know this computer. And it's going to, to the download folder, which is actually right here. And this is the one, it's not finished yet. It's pretty slow, right? Okay, it's finished. I mean, it's not that bad. For a 5400 RPM hard drive, it's pretty fast. So there you go. You just wanna, I, I will drag it here just for simplicity. You don't need to do this. Right click, right click, it's important. I know, again, you can open it like this, but no, you have to right click and to actually um, 
unzip it uh, I will unzip it on the desktop like this so you want to unzip it and then yeah it's just four megabyte it's pretty fast I love this computer because it's old and yeah so actually there you go it's right here as you can see so you want to go back into Chrome and you want to go up and actually for Chrome like Windows 10 it's the same thing you want to go here copy it paste it and there you go so you want to activate developer mode again and you want to charge a uh, unpack and stack extensions so click on it and then go where you put your file so desktop like I did if if it's not desktop for you it's not desktop and then there you go this is the file the unpack file select it and boom there you go it's on so I'm going to be uh, finding my website and I'm going to show you okay so there you go I just found my website this is the one so yeah again sorry for the fan noise those computers are pretty loud and yeah it's pretty slow but it's gonna be fast on your computer I mean I'm rocking an AMD CPU like 1.6 gigahertz from 2010 so yeah it's really slow but believe me it's gonna be fast on your computer so now it's like really slow okay there you go I wanted to reload it but nah, that's just Windows 7, it's it's fast OS, but 5400 RPM hard drive, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and like a dual core AMD CPU from 2010, that's what, it, that's what you get. But as you can see, it's working just fine. So uh, yeah, so uh, this is gonna be it for this video. So I really hope that uh, this video helped you out. And uh, don't forget, if you enjoyed, to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like that. So, ciao, ciao.